What's up, turds? Mystery Man here. Just picked up Red Dead Redemption 2. Decided to get it on the Xbox One. Um, hopefully this is going to be a popular series. Uh, I will let you know I did skip ahead a little bit. I got to a part where I think the tutorial's over. Um, to fill you in on what you missed. The... Uh, you're part of Dutch's gang, which is what I, if I remember correctly, it was the gang uh, Marston went after in the first Red Dead. Uh, you actually, Dutch's gang, or a caravan is going through the mountains is where it starts. And you actually have to go save John Marston. He went off from the gang and got attacked by wolves and you bring him back. Um... Supposedly, there's this big, I think it was a riverboat heist or something that went wrong, and you're fleeing from that. Uh, you don't play as John, obviously. Uh, you play uh, another member of his gang, and we had just gotten the caravan out of the mountains and set up our first camp, and this is where I think the game's actually going to begin. Uh, I think that mountain part was just a little tutorial. <laughs> So we're going to get started, and we're going to see how good this new installment is. And you might uh, excuse my voice, I am sicker than shit, so you'll be hearing me cough and sneeze and whatnot, so you'll just have to deal with it, I guess. <clears throat> But I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I do wish they would have had a PC release uh, with with the launch of these, but maybe there's one coming in the future, kind of like what they did with Grand Theft Auto V. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it did for GTA V, but we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. <coughs> And just so you know, I do not have an Xbox One X. That's one of the next things I'm going to purchase. Uh, I would like it. I believe this game is enhanced by Xbox One X. But since I have a gaming PC, if it would just come out for PC, I don't think it's necessary for me to have an Xbox One X. I don't know. But here we go. There I am, sitting by the fire. And let's go. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go straight up and do a mission. Do I have a map? Do I have a map? Yes, I do have a map. Let's see how big this map is. Oh, wow. It appears to see, or t it seems to be pretty big. I don't know. Maybe it opens up more. Uh, let's go see what these guys want me to do. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. I'm guessing this is, uh, the rise of Dutch's gang. And I wonder if the story happens to take place where at the end John Marston leaves the gang and then maybe the finale is when John Marston attacks your base I don't know if I'm right we'll see and uh, and we'll see if I called it okay let's see wake up ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? 
See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> well, because it has been weeks. Civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Let's get moving. <coughs> it seems to control pretty well. Ladies, sing us a song. Yeah, sing to us, ladies. Oh, that guy lost his horses. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I suppose I could. <coughs> Do I have to sneak up on him? Or do I have to lasso him? There we go. Let's get him back over. Got your horse, buddy. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. What? No reward? I should kill him. Come on, Arthur. Enough showing off. All right. On, let's, go. let's head to town. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means he got a heart, a small one perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> At least he's honest. All right. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. Oh uh, yeah, it's sucked up in the mountains. Us? Oh no. 
Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Let's go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Why don't you just back off? Well, oh, look out, bud. Just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not I will say life. that this does look very you good, even though I'm not man. running it on Morgan. the enhanced Xbox but One X. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. You guys will have to let me know if you want to hear me talk more, if you want to hear the game audio and conversations. That's why I've got subtitles on. Ringworm, then rats with a leg, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Let's see what you've got for sale. The stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. I don't need any of that. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lambs. Oh, the I don't the see state. anything I don't that I. Oh, well, let's is. look at the clothing. Maybe I can make myself look good. Trilby hat. No thanks, madame. Okay. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for the mouth. Oh, and these are outfits. Yeah, I'll come back when I've got more money. Everything seems a little too expensive for my blood in this store. I wonder if I could rob him. Probably don't want to get myself into too much trouble. Let's see what's going on. Oh, give me a pull of that whiskey, old Here's man. Your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? what? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Well, looks like... Whoa, did you... Oh. <coughs> did you see that guy? <laughs> that was fucking weird. What are you doing to her? Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Yeah, because you would have got your ass kicked. Across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. <sighs> women always getting into trouble, am I right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I respect women. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Maybe we'll get to see some. Oh no. Hopefully, there's no nudity. I don't want this to get demonetized. No trouble now, please. Oh, there'll be plenty of trouble. Well, here we go. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Well, I pistol whipped him. I meant to fight him, but I pushed the wrong button. <coughs> Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Everything's okay up there? Yep, everything's fine now. You gotta. I don't know if he's dead or not. Oh. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get I don't like this. Uh-oh. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a That Blackwater thing I was telling you about. Just a word. Yeah. Okay. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Where did he go? Oh no. Uh. Yeah. 
Well, why don't you answer some questions for me? About me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes. Ooh, well, as you can see, he fell to his death. I didn't help him. Sorry for the little jump there. I lost capture. We're going to uh, go ahead and continue. I guess that's the end of the mission. All right. Now we're to. Let's see. Need a gun. Pull up my map. Ooh, let's see what that stranger needs. I can put my gun away. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <coughs> I guess I should slow the hell down before I try to get off my horse. What was that noise going on? In here. Oh, you're all locked. There's something loud going in, on in that house. Oh well. Let's find that stranger. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you Who's shoot your friend? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. He looks drunker than shit. The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Who? Billy Who? Midnight. Who? Black Who? Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some 
Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Will you give me some damn space? You got a real problem, don't you? Oh, let's see. Do I have a problem? I've had enough of you! Uh, what? You're a dead Are you serious? I will beat the ever living snot out of you, dude! God. Now I'm gonna take all your shit. What do you think about that? Um. How do I call my horse? Horsey, get back here. Uh. See you guys later. I'm gonna get out of there. Um, let's. Uh, oh, whoops! I didn't want to go first person. Let's uh go to the map and head back to base, which is. Is this my base? Yeah, let's go back to base. Whoops. Okay. I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this game. Hopefully I quit losing capture and I won't have to edit the ever-living hell out of this. me I'm back all right I am home let's I'm gonna say this looks like it's a good time to save so it's been great we will pick this up next time. Spread the word, you frickin' turds. See you later.